bad news for the Trinamool Congress. Well, the ED enforcement director has now gone ahead, registered a money laundering case against the 12 TMC leaders in connection with the Narada sting operation. The sting operation that we could see allegedly several MLAs as well as sitting MPs of the Trinamool Congress party accepting bribe. And that, in, in connection with that case, the enforcement directorate has registered a money laundering case against those 12 TMC leaders. But let's go across to my colleague Saurav Sanyal joining us with the latest. A huge blow there for all these leaders of the TMC in the Narada Sting operation, Saurav. Uh, so far, Mamta Banerjee, we know, has been crying out and has been saying that this is nothing but a BJP ploy to try and corner the TMC. We recently saw that, you know, over the last couple of days, Amit Shah was there in Bengal, and Amit Shah has raised the pitch once again uh, uh, against Mamta Banerjee and the TMC. First, the CBI came hounding Mamta Banerjee and her MPs and MLAs who were uh, charged, uh, whose, whose names figured in the CBI charge sheet that was submitted in the Calcutta High Court as well uh, regarding the investigations in the Narda case. And now we see fresh case has been slapped against 12 of these leaders, uh, MPs and MLAs included, who have been seen as accepting cash in the Narda thing. So we'll have to wait and watch and see that how Mamta Banerjee really reacts to this. But for now, surely the heat is building up on Didi. Uh, also tell us about the status of this case. We remember that even the CBI, like you were pointing out, has been involved. In fact, some of the MPs had also challenged these developments in a higher court, sort of. So what's the status with the leaders right now and the status of the case? MPs Aprupa Poddar, who's also seen in this Narda thing as accepting 5 lakh rupees in cash. Now, she had uh, moved the Calcutta High Court uh, requesting for a stay on an imminent arrest. But uh, that has not, uh, her wish has not been granted. And now, uh, this is essentially a, a, a double whammy for Mamta Banerjee because, on one hand, you have the CBI uh, clearly naming and shaming uh, her leaders, her MPs, and MLAs uh, who have been seen as accepting cash as well as. Uh, Others and now we see that the enforcement directorate also going ahead with its own investigation and ED also registering a case based on you know the, the evidence that has come to the fore regarding uh, the leaders accepting money, uh, seeking illegal gratification you know and uh, from this fictitious firm which was played, floated by the Narda group. Uh, one can only imagine, sort of, that the reaction that will come in from Mamata Banerjee about how this is political vendetta. There have been so many scams under this particular tenure. Uh, the Sarada scam for one, the Rose Valley Chit Fund scam. Now we're talking about the Narada Sting operation. All of this will also have huge bearings and costs for the TMC. Well, that's right. In fact, uh, if we can recall that, as you rightly pointed out, Akshay, you brought up the Rose Valley scam, and in the Rose Valley scam, we already know the two of Trinamool Congress MPs, Sudhir Bandhupadhyay and Tapas Pal, they are already uh, behind bars. Now, they are jailed in Bhubaneswar in Odisha in connection with the case. We have seen that how Mamta Banerjee has always cried conspiracy uh, you know, when it came to the Sharda Chit Fund scam as well. And now uh, Narda has come as a huge, uh, you know, this thing operation really has stung Mamta Banerjee hard. And we know now, we know for sure now the Mamta Banerjee once again is expected to make a statement. Mamta Banerjee has already said that she will take a fight against the BJP to Delhi and she cannot be deterred by the BJP. Amit Shah, we know, uh, you know, raised the Narda issue once again while he was addressing party workers, while he was meeting with uh, booth level Karikatas across West Bengal during his recent visit. But DD seems completely unfazed. But for now, uh, the fact of the matter is that there is fresh, uh, you know, the, with, with this uh, fresh, uh, you know, leads that are coming out in the Narda case of the way the investigation is now moving forward with not just one agency, but the, the second uh, central agency, uh, you know, coming, uh, gunning for Didi's MPs. It remains to be seen that how Didi can actually come up with a plausible defense. Right. Sort of